So this is the gate that I'm going to uh, show you the process and what paint I'm using and then uh, the finish. So first of all you need to wash it down and I've already washed this down. Um, just warm soapy water that's all I've used. A bit of fairy and a cloth warm water and I've washed it all down. So the next process is sorting out the rust. So I'll just show you a little bit on this bottom. Some of the tools you'll need for this um, important is some eye protection, some gloves, dust brush, Got two wire brushes, got a scraper, Stanley blade, screwdriver, it's an old one, and my wood scraper because it comes in handy for some of the flat bits, getting rid of paint runs and stuff like that, and then some uh, sandpaper. Um, this is quite coarse. P60. So, starting off, you want to remove all this loose rust, the blown bits. There's no easy way about it, you just got to start. And it doesn't take that long doing it like this. Yeah, you can use all sorts, literally, to, to try and get rid of it. And then, you know, even the screwdrivers for some of these difficult bits. You know, underneath and all the small bits. And then you can use your scraper as well. And then once you've removed a section of the loose, use your wire brush then to clean it all back. And then once you've done that all over, using your sandpaper, give everything a good sand, especially the bits where the old gloss is. So I'll show you that once I've uh, finished it all off. Right, so that's been scraped off and I've had the wire brush over it. So the next stage is sandpaper. And there's no easy way about this. Basically, you've just got to sand every edge. And uh, these bits, they're not easy. Let's try and Roll your sandpaper around it. Because you, you've got to give the undercoats um, a good key. So that's sanding all the gloss back. What I usually do is work on one side, three edges, and then go around the other side and just sand off the other edge. You 
go through some new uh, sandpaper doing this as well. It just ruins it. And one bit as well. You can use smaller pieces and stuff them in like that. And you're always better working in a system. Do the top, and then work down one side, and then the bit in the middle, and then at the end. So that's all scraped off, and it's all been sanded now. Let's have a look at that bottom bit. You know, it's took a couple of hours, that has. Not easy. Okay then, so the next stage is to put some uh, cure rust on that rust. I'll show you what that is. So that's cure rust and it actually converts rust, uh, transforms rust to a stable surface in 15 minutes. I'll show you that. Give it a good shake up and pour some out into a pot. Now whatever you pour out, don't pour back, you have to use it up. Otherwise you'll contaminate the bottle. So I'm just going to pour a little bit out. Pure bristle brush. Now, <clears throat> when you apply this, it actually turns the rust black within an hour. Less than that. Um, in fact, actually, sorry, it's about 15 minutes, it's recoatable after an hour. If it's not turned black after an hour, then you can put some more on. Just brush it into all them areas where the rust is. I'm trying to keep off the uh, paint. There you go, you can see it's turned it black. Let's just have a look down at the bottom there. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put uh, a zinc phosphate primer as well on it. Belt and braces approach. Okay. Now, with your brush, just wash it out in water. And pour the water down the drain. And that's into the sewers, not into your fresh water drains. You have rainwater drains and sewer drains. Make sure it goes in a sewer drain. So we're ready to put the metal shield zinc phosphate primer on now. Give it a good stir up. Oh, well, there's no easy way about this. You've just got to take your time and start. And make sure you get every bit, all the underneath. And the twirls. I mean, they can take a good hour to paint these gates. But what you have to do is you can only ever get three sides. So you have to do some on one side, and when you've done a section, you have to go around to the other side and do the other side. And make sure you've got no runs.
you don't want to be putting too much paint on otherwise you'll get it just running and dripping everywhere Make sure you get all them underneath edges. You can see little bits and messes there. They're not easy, you have to double check it. And then once you've done one side, you have to do the other. Usually I'd do a section and then come back, but this is just a demonstration. Just that little edge. There you go. So I'll show you that once it's all done. Zinc phosphate primer done. So leave that to dry till tomorrow. And then I'm going to put some weather shield undercoat on it. I'm not using the metal shield because the rest of the job has been done in weather shield. So that's what I've got the undercoat I'm going to be using. The primer's dry and I'm undercoating now. So again, same process really. I'll give it a light sand down before I do this. So again, it's like doing three sides and then go around the other side just to finish that other side. And it's just about taking your time, making sure there's no misses, no runs. Alright, you can have a look at it when it's finished. That's the gloss that's going on. Um, I've had that mixed at the Dulux Centre. Um, that's the colour. It's not much different from the undercoat I mixed. So that's the undercoat finished, um, it's dry as well, um, I forgot to film it after I'd finished it. So I'm going to give it a light sand down. This is um, some P180, um, it's not easy, just got to take your time. Give it a light sound the best you can. And then once you've done that, give it a dust off. And uh, it's ready for its gloss. On with the gloss. So again, I'm taking your time. And when you start one of these swirls, Follow it right round.
don't be putting too much paint on. Like I said, once you've done a section, you have to go around and just finish that edge. Then once you've finished the whole gate, just check it over for any misses and then the next day when it's dry, check it again. Finish now. I'll just give you a quick look. Absolute pain to do. But a bit of satisfaction at the end.